Here, sleep tight. Use the river. And that's what we are facing today with an energy department. And their name shouldn't be the energy department. We know it's the Department of Nuclear Weapons Production. And that's their priority. And it always has been. I'm going to jump over a few of these slides. Um, and the, this week, uh, excuse me, on Thursday, the Energy Department just notified Washington State that it will not make deadlines for emptying high-level nuclear waste tanks that it agreed to just two and a half years ago. Those deadlines are incredibly lax. The first, the deadline for emptying those leaking single shell tanks was set at 2018. Washington State, in its wisdom or stupidity, agreed to give the Energy Department until the year 2040 to empty those single shell tanks of high level nuclear waste. Over the objections of people I see in this room and the organizations and the tribes saying more tanks are going to leak. And the Energy Department said, no, don't worry, it's safe, they're not going to leak. And now, two and a half years later, this week, they've announced, yes, we're missing our first deadlines for emptying those tanks and starting part of the treatment plant. In 2006, utilizing the services of a whistleblower who is in charge of uh, the program to put boreholes around the high-level waste tanks using and use gamma probes to chart the radiation and detect leaks. Um, we issued a report documenting that high-level nuclear waste tanks were leaking and had been leaking for the past 10 years. What you see here is the schematic of the one of the single-shell tank farms called the TY Tank Farm. You see the tanks near the surface and those beautiful colors underneath it are gamma radiation levels from the tank leaks all the way down to groundwater. What the report documented is that from 1998 to 2006, just below the bottom of the tanks, radiation levels had increased 50 fold. The only logical explanation is a tank leak. Now, the radiation level hadn't increased from the soil to the bottom of the tank. That tells you if it increases below the bottom of the tank, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that it leaked from the tank. The energy department, here's another beautiful schematic of high-level nuclear waste tank leak. The energy department, the secretary of energy, responded, as you can see here, by saying, in testimony to Congress, that the tanks are stable, monitored, not leaking. We monitored those tanks for any additional leakage, anything that would indicate any instability, and we find none. Of course, they followed, fired the whistleblower who led the program that documented it. Um, so that's how you don't find any contamination. Fast forward to February of this year, the Energy Department belatedly announces, oh yeah, six single shell tanks are leaking. Thousand gallons a year at least. Six of them. <coughs> the Energy Department, you would think, might have a plan to respond if a tank leaks. Might think that the state of Washington as the regulator would have required them to have a plan if the tank leaks. At public meeting after public meeting, over the last decade, the Energy Department has said to the public, if one of these tanks leaks, if one of them leaks, big if, because they said they're stable, but if one of them leaks, within six months, we will remove all the waste from that tank. Well, what are they doing? Nothing. 
They have not asked Congress for a penny to empty these leaking tanks. Not for this year, not for next year, not for 2015. We just went through the review of their proposed budget for 2015. So their plan, sit back and watch it go on for another several years. But what about the newer double shell tanks that John talked about? Well, the newer double shell tanks, the plan was, if one of the single shell tanks leak, we'll put it in a new double shell tank. They're just four decades old. Um, and they're not leaking, except as Keen TV has done a fabulous job in an expose, a six part expose so far. The Energy Department learned in 2011 that the tank into which single shell tank waste was supposed to be transferred, it is also leaking. And they've engaged in a year long cover up of the leakage. And this is from King's report. Contractor WRPS disregarded strong evidence the tank was leaking for nearly a year. In response to their second report on King TV, when asked if the leak was